Hey folks, Nick Culbertson here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Audacity to master your audio to get it prepared for being uploaded to streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and all the rest. And this is going to use the specifications that they put on their website for what they like for your audio to sound like. Uh, we're not going to cover things like EQ and compression, so hopefully you're handling that stuff in your mix or if you want to do more advanced mastering, this is not the tutorial for you. This is for uh, just you have a banging track that you just want to put at the right normalized loudness and uh, taking those peaks down. So anyways, let's just jump into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Before we get started, make sure that you're using Audacity version 2.4.2 or newer, or else the parameters we set on the effects are not going to save after you close the app. Uh, the way to find this out is go to About Audacity in your menu and it'll say your version number. Once you have the right version installed, now you can get started mastering. First, right click on the audio file that you're going to be using and open it in Audacity or you can simply drag the file into a new Audacity project. Now that we have the audio loaded, we're going to create a macro to apply the effects that we're going to use. The effects are not toggled on and off in Audacity, so once you apply an effect, it stays there unless you undo that action. This macro will be a quick way to apply a set of master effects with just one action that you can easily reuse or undo if you don't like it, and you can tweak the settings in the future. So go up to the tools and select macros. Now click new and we'll name it whatever you like your master. Now click insert and there's a long list of effects and then actions you can use to automate these macros in your project. First choose select all which will highlight your entire track for applying effects. Next insert loudness normalization. This is the cool one. Double click to edit the values perceived loudness at minus 14 luff, and you can normalize the stereo channels independently depending on your preference. I'm gonna leave it checked off. Next, insert a limiter. You can use the move up and move down arrows to reorder the items if need be. Double click the limiter and set the limit to minus one dB with a hold of one millisecond. Also change the top to hard limit. Click OK and your macro has been created. Now open tools and select apply macro, your master. You'll see it selects the file, normalizes the volume, then lowers those peaks. Edit Undo can remove the effect, and let's see it again. And this is exactly how all the streaming services like for your audio to be. Minus 14 luff, and one decibel of headspace on the peaks. Now I'll drag the original mix so you can see them side by side and hear the difference. The last step is to export the file as a WAV file or whatever format you prefer. Using a templated approach like this might not work for every track, but it should still serve as a good starting point. If your audio peaks sound distorted in certain places, you might need to highlight and decrease their volume before applying their master effects. And that's it! I hope you find this video helpful in getting your music prepared for submissions. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when new episodes are rolling out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.